Welcome to Hamburg. John Lennon once said, I was born in Liverpool, but I grew up in Hamburg. The Beatles spent long periods here, and it was the group's coming of age. The same could be said for Antoine Reicha, who lived here from age 24 to 29. The musical and intellectual seeds that were planted in Bonn needed time to grow and develop in the musician's fertile mind. In Hamburg, Reisha was on his own for the first time. In his autobiography, he describes the health problems that resulted from the change of climate and diet, including violent stomach aches, fever, and toothaches. In short, he was miserable. But he was also productive. Reisha used his solitude as an opportunity to meditate on music and the way it was taught. His study of algebra led him to cultivate an analytical mindset, which he then applied to music. It led to some astonishing musical innovations, including a four-minute piece written with just three notes. One of the most important works which Reisha wrote in Hamburg was a pretentious-sounding text called Philosophical and Practical Observations on Music with Examples. It sat in the French National Library for over 200 years before it was finally published in 2013. Reisha's goal was to expand the territory of musical possibilities for composers, and he was intellectually honest enough to take up his own challenges. The examples from the book's title are full-blown works, many of which are incredibly modern in their approach. Take this one, for example, number four. Fantasy on a single chord. This is the piece which uses only three notes. Reisha wrote that the mind, constrained by limited means, seeks and finds solutions. Here's a little taste. You might say that the piece predates minimalism by over 150 years. It's easy to forget that in the time of Haydn, Beethoven, and Schubert, no one else was doing anything like this. This kind of experimental approach became much more common in the 20th century when music was more closely associated with scientific research. Reisha limits himself to just three out of 12 possible notes. As a kind of musical game, just to see if he can get away with it. In the same set of examples, Reisha composed a theme in variations on an outlandish set of chords. Reisha follows the theme with six variations, or fantasies, as he calls them. My favorite is number three in 5-8, an asymmetrical meter, which goes like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It became common to use that kind of rhythmic structure in the 1930s, but no one else was doing it in 1797. Thank you. 
few years later, Reisha moved to Vienna, where Beethoven helped him to get his music published. He wrote pieces in more conventional formats, like sonatas and variations. We'll learn more about that next time. See you in Vienna. Thank you.